Hi, welcome to my channel. I am the Homeos, and in this video, we're going to make platforms explode and then reappear. We're also going to use a particle emitter to simulate an explosion using particle systems. So stay tuned, and we'll get creating. Okay, we're going to go under our contents browser. Scroll to the bottom, you see contents. Now you can make your own folder by right clicking and create a new folder. But I have a blueprints folder, so I'm going to go there. I am going to right click on folder in a blank spot, and I'm going to click blueprints class, and I'm going to select actor. Now I'm just going to call this uh, demo 2 for now, and I'm going to click on the demo. So, I'm going to go under my components, I'm going to hit add, and I'm going to add static mesh. Now, I'm going to call this platform. You can call it whatever you want. Now, I'm also going to go and open my, my epic browser here. And I'm going to go to the Unreal Engine, and I'm going to go to my library, and or you wouldn't want to go to the marketplace and you want to go into free assets and you can look for Paragon. This is what you want right here. And you want to download this, you want to add this into your project. You can add whatever you want. I just like the assets in here so I can get my platform and I'll show you which one. So after you go ahead and you download that, add that into your, your Epic your epic project so you want to go under and click on the, the static mesh that we selected as platform and you look for and then under the details you will find your static mesh open it up and go under none and you want to type in the jungle pillar Jungle pillar block is what we're looking for. Block piece. Jungle pillar block piece. 151. Right here. This is the one I want. This is the one I'm going to use. Now I'm also going to go and rotate this 90 on the x-axis so and I'm also gonna scale it up a little bit where's my scale uh, 1.5 and 1.5 here we go just make it a little bit bigger so under the count components I'm also gonna add in a light and I want to add in a light Oh, where is it? The spotlight. The point light. That's what I want to add in. So I just scroll to the bottom. And bring it down right about there. Now I like to go for a nice pinkish light. You can use it what you want. It just offsets, offsets the uh, emitter that I'm going for. The particle system. So there we go, we got the platform and we got our light. So now I want to add in a collision. So we're gonna use a box collision. So I wanna make sure I get to the top of it. Scale this up a bit. Just so the character will make contact with it. All right, now we got that selected. Now over the detail panel, after you have the box collision selected, scroll down to where it says on component begin overlap. Now that's gonna take you to your event graph, which mine is all messed up. <laughs> So my event graphs here. Now 
There it is. For some reason I got lost. Okay, there's my on component again overlap. And what I want to do is I just want to cast this to my third person. Third person character. So I want to do the object. I'm going to go into other actor. Now I want to do a delay on here. Now the reason for, I would like to start a delay, let's do 1.5, looks pretty good. All right. Okay, so after the delay, we're going to bring in the emitter. So we're going to spawn. Spawn emitter at location. Okay, so to get the location, we want to get the location from the actor. So we'll get actor location. There she is. No, that's not what we wanted. That. Good. After. There we go. In green one. We get actor location. So next we want to. We want to play some sound. So let's go play sound. Now, I used to go with a 2D sound, but I found out that at location is better. So it's not going around the whole game. It's actually at a location where the player's at. So to get that location, like, well, how am I supposed to do that? Same thing, get actor location. So now it would only play that sound at that location. So there's an explosion. I would go with the cube. So you can turn it down. It was a little loud. I do apologize. So now you want to set the visibility. Now we have two. We have a light and we have a platform. So the first visibility we want to set is going to be for the platform. That looks correct. And the second is going to be set visibility for the point light. Okay. So now we got that set up. I want to do a set collision enable for the platform. So when you're on top of the platform, the view goes away, but the collision will stay. So we're going to set collision. Actually, let's do it this way. Set collision enable for platform. Okay, so that looks about right there. Compile and save. Now, let's go ahead and play this out. Let's drag it into our scene here. We're doing demo two. I'm gonna do it right here. Bring it up a little bit. There goes our actor. Now we haven't we haven't spawned any emitters yet because we haven't used any. So let's go ahead and spawn some emitters. So this is the one I like. It goes with the light. It's a an explosion. It's a Halex Primal Impact. I believe that's how you say it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pile save. So we're gonna do I'm gonna bring this away from the tree a little bit actually. I'm gonna Get rid of my old one. Put my one up here. 
And you could also play with the light if it's too dark. Um, close enough. There you go. But it's not reappearing. So I'm gonna pull back into my blueprints here, my demo two blueprints. And on the bottom, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into my viewport here. I'm going to click on the collision, I'm gonna scroll down. And instead of on compress begin overlap component, I am going to end overlap. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and pretty much going to do the same thing. But we're going to put a delay afterwards. So delay. Well, since we're doing 1.5, so as soon as you step on, it counts 1.5, explosion, destroy. So I want to do, wait, another 1.5 seconds. So I'm going to add three in. So there we go. So after three seconds, you would go and destroy the actor, play the sound of the explosion in 1.5, and then wait another 1.5, and then it's gonna reappear. So I am going to, we don't need a sound. You could add a sound at location, a reappearing sound if you wanted to. But what you wanna do is you just want these set visibility. So if you just wanna go ahead and copy these right here, Control C and bring them down to here. Control V. Now the only difference you're gonna do with these is they're just going to check them all. New visibility, new visibility, and for a collision where it says no collision, you're gonna add collision enable. Okay, so we're gonna go with compile and we got an error because we didn't bring our target set visibility oops we don't need this one we got one too many we only need two I don't know why we have a play sound set visibility oh the platform hmm, I gotta change that Oh wait, no, that's right. I had that right. So, so I, I didn't, I didn't copy this with it. That's what I didn't do. Okay, let me go ahead and shift, copy that. Control C. So we got rid of that one. Let me hit Alt. Get rid of that. Control B. Okay, so you want to make sure that we have two sets of visibility: one for the platform and one for the pink, the light and then we have set collision for the platform so it's going to go after three seconds it's going to set visibility for the platform so the platform is going to reappear and then the light at the simultaneously all this is going to happen the light and then the collision is going to come back so we're going to go ahead and compile that everything should work now let's go ahead and pull this to the side here let's go ahead and play There it is. Okay, what oh, I didn't check mark the uh, new visibility. Make sure you have your new visibility checked on both and then collision enabled. So make sure they're checked off on all of them and make sure you have no collision. That'll be the first run. Okay. Give you another. What the heck just happened there? I don't want that to happen. Just a little bit. Okay, let's go over this now. So on our on, so we're gonna go to our video part. Just do this real quick. We got our, we got our light. We got our platform. We got our collision. Now on our collision, we went to the begin overlap. So that's what that is. And then we cast to the third person. So when the third person comes, it's gonna hit the collider. It's gonna tell the object, 
delay 1.5 seconds, spawn the emitter, do this simultaneously, play the sound, destroy the visibility, get rid of the collision, and to get rid of the visibility of the light. Now after 1.5 more seconds, on our end, after we step off the box, there's going to be a delay for the 1.5, and then it's going to bring back the visibility on the platform, bring back the visibility for the light, and reset the collision. So let's go ahead and look at that. Everything compiles. Let's hit play. Step off. And it reappears. And our collision is back. Okay, and you can keep doing this for the whole game. So that's it for our video. I'm going to go ahead and put some more videos out later about platforms. But until then, keep creating, and I'll see you next video.